is uh, October 8, 2023. And uh, this night did I get a visit of uh, evil beings. And uh, I recognized them because uh, this was uh, what I uh, I uh, met when I was to down to hell, and um, uh, God uh, took me to hell to see how it looked like, and I have talking about it. But uh, uh, many of you have have. Uh, uh, being my followers later than when I talk about it, and uh, it was the same, uh, same uh, beings that was in my dream this night, uh, and it was uh, when I was married before I left Sweden for to be in the United States in year 2000 and uh, so it's 23 years since I saw them and they uh, they come to me in the night and uh, it, uh, I don't want to talk about hell now how it was uh, but some of you have listen at that chapter and uh, this was uh, the end of uh, when I was in hell it was that I sit outside the door to the cafe where I should pass by the cafe in inside the cafe to come to to this life so the cafe was between uh, hell and uh, life and I uh, in the end of uh, when I have seen hell uh, the whole thing then I sit on the stair uh, stairs to the, the house where the cafe was and uh, those evil beings that uh, come to me and one was very aggressive uh, and was very close to my my face and uh, in a black hood and uh, in that black hood it was not a face it was a, a swirl of a it was black inside the hood and then it was a, a green swirl uh, moving around inside it so there was not a face but uh, it was a voice and the voice say very kindly that's how the devil uh, do he do, don't always uh, talking very uh, hard to us he can be very very mild so sweet talking and uh, want us to join him and he come to me when I sit on the stairs and he say can you open for for us I think they were three or four that was close to me and uh, he say that uh, this well, uh, one that was in the black hood oh can you open for us and i say told him the truth i didn't lie i say i don't have the key to the to the house i say to him and uh, and then uh, suddenly when i say that he come closer and it was when I saw that he had it was not a face it was a green 
swirl inside the hood and uh, yeah, just when he come like he should take me into that hood then suddenly I wake up in my bed and uh, because my husband had shake me up he wanted to tell something and then he said that he have been into that cafe but he never come out to hell and uh, he was sitting and uh, drinking beer in the cafe and and, the, and it was exactly the same cafe that I have been but I go through that cafe and walk in into the, to hell to see it and it's not nice at all it's much uh, scary, scary people, spirits, scary uh, people that uh, walking around in hell. And uh, and this was those uh, that was uh, on me at the stairs. Those was, uh, they were coming. Uh, to me in the night and you know it's 23 years ago since since I saw them and they so it uh, was not something I have in my head uh, but they come in the night but they didn't scare me at all uh, it, it was uncomfort to have them in my bedroom but uh, I was not scared about them and I say to to God and uh, those in afterlife that I hope they are coming here to I, I say this inside me in the spirit I say to them in, in afterlife that I hope they coming so I see them uh, and they are going away now forever it's end of of their attacks of not only my life but other people's life also and uh, I think it was four because that makes sense about the four corner that means the whole planet they are, are everywhere and um, so th they went away and I I wanted to shake them away and uh, and I tried to wake up and it was like I was in a tunnel I was not here on this planet it was like they have taken me down to a big deep hole because uh, when I I knew that because when I tried to wake up it took long time it was like I have to go through many layers in the underground in a the tunnel had like rings around it as layers and it took me a very long time to to come up a very long time and for me was it long time because I uh, like before when they have attacked me I had a fight to come up to life again but uh, this time it goes smooth but I I saw it and I felt it that I had been far down in like in a tunnel and uh, so uh, I had to shake me up and and take them away so I 
uh, was up and uh, it was four o'clock in the night and I sit on my computer about one hour and then I was thinking it's safe to go to bed again because because if you uh, like wake up from a nightmare and then you go to sleep again that nightmare can come back to, to you it's still in the brain so it's needed I always do that uh, that I go up and clear up the brain and uh, I don't have much nightmares it's maybe one per year I have it and uh, I know it's about uh, what I was talking about in the in the episode yesterday that they didn't like uh, what I was saying and I'm going to repeat it for you to understand and uh, t- talk about it more how to shake them away and uh, they, and then I go to sleep again and this time it come uh, uh, Christian churches it was uh, this that I talk about yesterday it was many leaders for Pentecostal church and they were so hateful and uh, a voice was telling me that they are like a sect because they don't they hate when you are not uh, when you are not thinking like they are thinking they are not real uh, christians as they should be like uh, the, it's a free thinking the sect is that you have not your free will to could find out by yourself what's going on in the spirit world and understand the bible and and understand god and and very few understand the afterlife and but as a free person you can do that and um, it is uh, you are not in a prison Uh, they try to scare you by saying that you need to to be in a religion to be in a church or a mosque mosque and uh, uh, that you need to be together with a group of people or else they hate you they want to kill you and it have not with islam to do it's um, in many religions like that and uh, killing is not only to kill shoot you or put a knife in you the killing is also to take you away from your belief so um, I am sorry if you think that I I uh, want to take you away from what you believe but uh, but for me is it that I want you to learn to think by yourself and not only follow a belief system uh, that's what I am talking about and and you can see that is many churches have problems today because people are walking away from from religions and uh, i know that uh, you that is my followers you are you are tired of this traditional church things what they are saying they repeat and uh, 
I know they exchange manuscript of how to talk to people in the church. They don't go for uh, like uh, listen what the spirits are saying they read the papers and some uh, pastors I have uh, noticed that in my early early walking under God that the pastor doesn't want to hold the Bible they they put the Bible to another person and I was it someone that uh, did a sign that have not thinking about it that why do the pastor r- not reading the the Bible by himself why do he let other reading the Bible it is because he don't want to touch the Bible that's what it is and uh, sometimes they have the Bible open up in the pulpit but they don't touch it and uh, so um, I want to talk about uh, because I was attacked and it was very stressful for me when I wake up and now I am okay again because I have taken my medicine for higher blood pressure. So it has taken down the stress I, I felt. And, uh, and, uh, and is it also every time I feel negative in my body, I, I recording a chapter and I be relaxed to talk to you about what's going on and um, so I was talking yesterday they should know it by now that uh, instead to stop and talking what I was telling you yesterday I I tell you more. They should know that that they can't scare me to uh, for to not get them come and visit me. It's not visit, force themselves on me, and uh, because uh, I'm not scared, I. uh, uh, when they come once again this with the churches that was angry at me and they wanted to stop everything in my life they w- wanted to tell everyone all over the world that uh, this uh, woman should you not listen at and you should not be friend with her and that's what they have success success with. Uh, but I could, uh, even if I don't get friends that coming to my door, I, I, w- I walk out and talk to people. So in, in that way, it's not really a success for them. And... Uh, yeah. I'm not scared, so I continue to talk about this, uh, that uh, Jesus' blood is a protection for to be, to not be attacked of those devil, evil. But they are the whole time uh, on on us, they spy on us the whole time. So they, uh, as soon as you are weak, they coming and attack you. We we can never be uh, out from it. Uh, we, but we can prepare to 
to know that when that attack is coming, we claim Jesus' blood. And it's not about uh, Jesus in his himself, but w most of us are related to Jesus in our DNA. It's in our blood. Uh, we are part of Jesus in that way, that we are in his his line of uh, DNA and uh, that's why we claim it because we are powerful in Jesus' blood that we are connected with him and uh, he is in the afterlife so in that way we call for him to come and help us or other he tell other in afterlife to come and help us. So that is very important. The cross is some is the lie. They lie for us, the enemies, because the the cross is a, a killing weapon. Jesus was killed by the cross. So that is not a good thing to look at. It's a, it's a lie. And they'd be happy when, you, when their people wear the cross and they have a tattoo, the cross. They'd be very happy because that's a sign that they have got you. And uh, and it's of course the same when when they tattoo the upside down the cross, but that is stronger symbolic. But the the cross in itself is a killing weapon, and um, so it is Jesus' blood we claim, and I will do that. Uh, before I fall to sleep again so I don't get them here and uh, I hope they they will forever go away from attack me and uh, they can live in their world where there is no sunshine there is only a pale moon as I saw it, and uh, but I hope uh, most of them um, feel sorry for what they have done, and uh, beg of mercy in in the heavenly court because everyone is coming to heaven and to the court, but there they got. The judgment, and uh, they have a chance to to ask for forgiveness, but those most evil ones, they uh, will never ask for forgiveness because they don't think they have not done anything wrong in their sick brain. They don't know what is about good things they only know bad things and um, so they are going to be swept out from the, this planet they will not exist anymore they will not be re be remembering and when they say remembering it's not a of a parents and friends and those things is from the afterlife. They will not be there. They will not exist at all. And so their names, it doesn't matter their names, what title they had once here on earth, they are not going to be remembered. 
and uh, uh, those evil people they are remember here on earth but not in heaven they will not be they will not be there and they will not be called on to come back uh, judge the judgment it's it's done forever it's no call back that's the last thing uh, you can save yourself and uh, in uh, you can't lie to them and say i i'm sorry that i did those things you can't do that because they they know if you lie they know know it so you can't uh, trick them you have tried to trick people all of your life but in the heavenly court you can't trick them so uh, this is uh, what was talking about uh, yesterday that uh, the the uh, it's about to have connection with heaven is to to take them away uh, what i what wrong i did yesterday it, it was when i when i go to sleep i didn't talk so much uh, from to have uh, i didn't talk to god and afterlife so much i fall to sleep very quick and it was like i i was sink into that hole very quick and they come and and uh, did a mess for me uh, and stress me very much but uh, those church people they did the most stress on me because the, they are here on earth today so they they can still do bad things to me that uh, i can't reach out with the uh, with what heaven is talking about and i have told it many times that i can't do anything on my own it's uh, very important that you you uh, repost uh, those uh, episodes that you you understand and that you feel that they are something other people should know about it's very few that repost and now it's sunday today and most of the time i don't have any listener at, at um, i think it's a sound cloud uh, they uh, you are not there you that use soundcloud on sundays and uh, either are you sleeping because you have been out and, and drinking i hope not that way but it can be so or else you are in the church even if i talk about the church in negative but i i can forgive you in that way that i th i think you want to be in a social social a social events you want to know the gossip of people you want to know what they have going on in the week that's why you are and some churches Uh, give uh, in some churches they are eating food and uh, they feel uh, either i was in one church for for some weeks 
in the United States, we got uh, fresh donuts every morning before the church. And uh, I don't, I don't do that uh, if I, I have not been in the church for a long time, but if when I was in the church, I tried to not eat anything because uh, uh, be hungry in the church is is easier to hear from God. So that's wrong to eat donuts in the, before the service. And some churches had like a buffet of food. Now I, when I was in the United States, I was in black church churches um, most of the time. Uh, I was not in white churches. God wanted me to see the black churches. And... Uh, you you are you should not think negative about it that god wanted me to be in black churches it's not uh, about error uh, error you should not think negative but uh, that was god's hope that you should listen at me and wondering why a white person is in a black church. But no one asked me why I was there, even if I was the only white person in a black church. They never asked me. Uh, and they t uh, Some uh, try to be friendly, but most doesn't talk to me because uh, I was white, and uh, the pastor sometimes was saying to me that I didn't belong to this church. So the, uh, some churches is not open for white people, but I I I didn't care because God have told me to go to those churches. I was in the United States. I ask God in the morning when I come out on the, on the street I ask God lead me to that church you want me to be in today I said to him and he led me in I live most of the time in Virginia state around Virginia beach and uh, and it was many churches. It's in every corner was it a church, and uh, uh, he, I say, led me to the church, so I could easily walk in to a white church, but God led me to black churches, and and uh, it happened that some people wanted to kick me out from those black churches but i told them i god led me to your church i say to god to lead me to the church he wanted me to be in and so he did and i if they should kick me out they have to deal with god but when I say that, God, God led me to your church, they be surprised and they didn't kick me out. Uh, so uh, it was not easy to go into black churches because there was, I was in one church, there, those women most uh, and some men also, they didn't want me to have in me in the church because there were real, real black churches where they have all these black, most men on the picture of the walls that have done 
things uh, in the history. It was really a black church. But I say, God led me to your church. And, uh, and they let me in in that way. So it's, uh, it's this, uh, they is saying that, uh, but that is the devil whisper in their ear saying that you don't belong here. You are not like us. That's the devil talking. And that I have met many times. And you, you should be aware, you should know that uh, this is not real people from God. This is the devil's people that are talking like that. So you know when they are in the pulpit and saying that you don't belong to this church. You have to go away. Everyone should be welcome in the church. Of course. You don't see it because you go to a black church and there is no no white there and uh, so you don't hear it. But if you if you go I think it's the same thing if you are black and you go to white, total white church, churches, that you hear the same thing. They target you. They, it's disturbing very much that you are coming uh, and uh, you have another color on your skin. And uh, it have with both sides to do. It's... Uh, the, the, when the devil is talking, he's talking to everyone that disturb him. And, uh, and he is this. In the same time, he's gathering people, uh, visible people, in the, in, the, in the church or mosque, mosque or other places religious places that he's gathering because it's it's so easier to stand stand in the pulpit and talk to people and they everyone is listen to him and and they and then they spread it what he was saying uh, out to friends and family if it was something that hit them and and it's uh, he the devil doesn't want to want uh, the one person to come and hear word words from god uh, and know god and uh, in that way he, no one get help that targeting from the devil that uh, you be by yourself you are alone he want that because to be in a big group they it's powerful but now uh, now in the last days he's he see now that he can't gathering people into the church uh, like he did before because people have free thinking. People are free. They can walk away when it's disturbing. And uh, what does it help to have... Um, a church that only is social meeting and not a, a God's way to gathering people. What when you dance around in the church and and eat lots of food, people is coming there 
because it's it's more fun there than out on the street. But they are coming for the dance and they're coming from for to eat food. And uh, nothing that have we got to do. And that's why in the last days God is standing in front of the church and uh, and it's going to burn in the church. It says in the Bible that it's going to be f- standing first in the church, outside the church. And uh, when I was in that church where I was not welcome, but I come in because I told them that God had told me to go to th- that uh, black church. And... Uh, and now I, uh, I have to think what I should say. It took away. Um, it's it, it, yes, it was. Thank you. Uh, I was standing and looking in the kitchen in that church, and they make food. Those black women, and uh, they put it together and. Uh, and take it out to to people to their home and uh, got m- money for it and uh, then they have left over of the food and i was standing there and and they knew that i i was poor and I had no money for to eat food and they were standing and say are you going to take it home to you? Uh, do you want this food? No, uh, I don't want to t- bring it with me. And then they uh, pour it out in the trash. And, and they saw me standing there and look at them. And they didn't g- gave me any food. Not of this. They preferred to pour it out in the trash than to give me the food and uh, uh, when they did that in the trash they uh, I felt like it was someone standing and uh, had uh, like his head over my shoulder and he was saying this to me that it was the first First to heal was the church, inside the church. He said, it's a, I know, I don't remember really exact the word he said, but he said it was the first place to, to could heal. It was the church to heal. And uh, now it's split up the churches uh, in many places. So uh, it is uh, what he was saying that it have to take out those that is don't belong to God, those people. But uh, you need to know who they are, of course. And uh, they... Uh, they are only there for to dance and uh, singing the music and to eat. They are not there to listen on uh, uh, the words that is preaching. They are there to have fun and to hear gossip. And those people have to go and uh, before the healing can come back, uh, the healing to the churches. But they have to change their mind. But the churches cannot change because they have locked in themselves because the lies they are saying in the pulpit make them get money. So... That's the money that control those in the pulpit. You know those 
those uh, preacher in the television they have airplanes they have big mansions they have very much they own very much they are very very wealthy and they can't change their way to preach they can't change their mind sometimes they have say that they they have a uh, fool people those that have this with the legs that the legs suddenly one of the leg is is shorter and then it's uh, coming out that's a, a lie and uh, they have other things they lie with to to get the money from people and uh, and it it was about the, the money in the church that uh, I know now why it's why I be disturbed you now it's because you know the spirits coming and it's a man go, coming and uh, he he looked like Jesus but but you know it's we don't know how Jesus how he look like but it, uh, it's like he is Jesus he want me to see him like that he have a dark brown clothes on him and this uh, like a monk dress down to the uh, his uh, feet and uh, is standing and holding out his arms and uh, like uh, the cross that he was on that's what he's showing that cross and uh, he, he, he is saying this to you He's not saying to me. He he look at you and say. He only say this short because they don't talk so much. He say move on. That's what he's saying to you. That you have to move on. That was this spirit that looked like. Uh, Jesus and uh, he say you you need to move on or or you fall down like a dead he don't think about he don't saying like you be killed but you be dead in inside you and your life that you have it will be like dead that you don't have any money and you you have to go from your house and in many ways going from your house it's not only about that you can't pay for your house it's a divorce and and those other things that you may be, be sick and, and laying in the hospital and, uh, and you are away from your home. There, it's many ways he is saying this about go away from your home. But that is a short thing he is saying because it means so much, much more than only go away from your home. And um, so he, he say that it's uh, he say that it is um, a hard time just now, and it will continue to be very hard in in your life, and you need to change. You can't go with those big groups. Or people 
uh, and what they are saying. You listen, you listen more to your friends, to you, the people around you, than you listen at me. He is saying, and he he is not God; he is Jesus. But in the Bible, Jesus is talking. Is uh, those things he is talking i have a i have a bible where it is a blue letters where jesus is talking and that is very good to know what he was talking about and then uh, pondering pondering uh, think about what it means because it means when jesus was talking he was talking in the spirit you need to know the spirit and that is true the spirit is true and uh, when jesus was talking he was talking about the spirit world he was not talking about the world where he was walking he was talking from from god to people and god is a spirit so you need to to study the bible in that way that you if you don't have a blue blue letters bible you you need to buy it or you the Bible you have, you need to highlight or make a line under where where Jesus is talking. And then you need to sit and really think about it. And you need to think in a spirit way and not in a visible way. Then you understand what jesus really are talking about you have have only read the bible like it is an ordinary book but it is is a spirit book it's not a worldly book it's spirit so that's what i leave you with and i thank you Thank you, the Spirit, to come and talk. And he needed to show me like he was Jesus, even if we don't know how Jesus looked like. Uh, but I I know that picture that he's showing me. That's why I got it in that way. Uh, Jesus, uh, uh, he, he should be very much brown in his skin. He is not uh, could be white because uh, he was hidden. The Bible say that Jesus hide himself in in the crowd of people, and I were not white people they they coming from africa up to israel so they were dark skinned so i'm sorry for to say that to white but that uh, doesn't mean that you are not worthy or uh, that you have you you are loved also all people are loved by god and uh, and his um, god is, is not crying but all those in afterlife not only jesus the it is all those in afterlife when they fail to to make you come to them and you go to hell they are crying because they love you so much and they want all people to come to heaven so it's a sad day 
when uh, you you go take yourself to hell and uh, it's the opposite when you come to the to heaven they you know why I have said that their heart are singing you hear songs in the air and that is their heart that is singing they to- have told me that in one or two episodes so thank you for uh, listen and uh, god bless you